So this is the last day of the year. All the snow's melting. It's in the 40s. Uh, if I ever finish that Mustang, we got Richard's truck here ready to push right into the garage and get some rat rod work done. But for now, it'll probably be snowed in by that time. Oh, does anybody need a hood for a 50 Ford? Because I got one of them. I think I got a grill here somewhere too. Oh yeah, I see it over there in the bushes. And then there's the back half that I was going to make into a couch. I might sell that. Someone else can have a couch. And there's a trunk lid too. You can have a couch with a cover that you can close. Make me an author. I got to clean this place up. Yeah, so for those of you who are doing a low budget uh, restoration or hot rod, this is uh, my gallon of candy apple red paint. I bought it from uh, Dad's Discount Auto Body Distributors uh, for $105, I think it was. I got a gallon of red paint. I got a quart of a reducer. I got a pint of uh, Catalyst Hardener. I got uh, a bunch of strainers, some mixing sticks, and a tack rag. And all for around 100 bucks. Now when I painted my Monte Carlo, it cost me 500 bucks for all the material. Actually a little more than that. And uh, so I got this online from these people, Discount Auto Body Distributor. Uh, it's on, if you go online, it's dadscustoms.com. And uh, the, uh, you can see that on the back here, it says they have the complete acrylic enamel paint kits starting at $90. And most of the colors are, uh, are around $100, a little under. Some are under $90. I think I saw an $80 one there. And for a two-stage paint job, they got the, this other kit. But I tend to go with acrylic enamel. You can still sand it, wet sand it, and buff it out, and it comes out looking really nice. So there, that's my first commercial. Unsolicited testimonial. Uh, but if you go there to buy paint, tell them you heard it from me on Al's Hot Rods and Rat Rods. Or is it Al's Rat Rods and Hot Rods? Anyway, it's been a great year. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. And keep subscribing and hitting that like button and commenting on all of our videos. Thanks. Bye. Well, the transmission's out. We're, uh, me and Mike took it out yesterday. Uh, you know, I helped Mike. Or Mike helped me. I think he did most of it, so I guess I helped him. Anyway... Tomorrow is New Year's Day, so uh, I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. Uh, Ian, uh, Aaron, um, Lewis, Mike, and well, all of my new subscribers, too. Been uh, got a lot of subscribers this week, and I appreciate it. And uh, now if I could just get some comments and some likes, it'd be even better. So anyways, I ordered the... Uh, entire kit to put the uh, T5 Tremec in the Mustang here and they said they'd send it except for there were two pieces that they had that were out of stock uh, it's a beautiful engine in it and uh, what was missing is the first and last piece that I need first piece I need is the flex plate that goes between the engine and the transmission uh, the separator plate rather and uh, I can't use the one from the automatic transmission because according to them I have to use the one for the five speed so I can't start till that thing is in stock even if they send me the rest of the pieces um, even gonna need a new drive shaft the original drive shaft is too short and it's got the wrong splines and anyway when the parts come I'll make a new video and show you all the good parts that I am I'm not able to put together yet and uh, <clears throat> and
and the old 67 will run again sooner or later. We'll be burning rubber with it before long.